All right, so let's talk about coffee creamer. So I know if you're watching this, you're hating me right now because you really love your dairy creamer. Trust me, I do too. I am a huge fan of all kinds of dairy, especially milk from the farm down the road. So um, me too, I am in this in the moment, this moment, I'm having to avoid dairy and I'm reconditioning my own gut. So I have come up with a wonderful coconut creamer recipe that's uh, not dairy free. Uh, first of all, if you wanna just go buy something, Laird's Superfood Creamer, oh my God, like, Shake it so good, like shake it as much as you can possibly shake it before you use it. And it's this frothy, yummy, vanilla cream. You could drink it out of the thing and give yourself a stomach ache because it's so good. So again, Laird Superfood Creamer, awesome product, all right? And you don't have to make anything. It does have a little bit, let me see, it's so clean. It's got coconut creamer or coconut cream, organic coconut sugar, uh, aquamanin, which is from uh, algae, um, gum acacia, Tahitian vanilla extract. It's not just a natural flavor, natural flavors or chemicals. This is actual an extract. Uh, sea salt, mushroom extracts with ch chaga, lion's mane, and cordyceps. So I'm a huge fan of this. If you don't have self-control, you don't want this around your house. <laughs> if you feel like you have self-control, you'll have this around your house and you'll love me forever for letting you know about this product, okay? Beyond that, if you want to make your own, uh, the couple of things we're going to start with is the Thai Kitchen Organic Coconut Milk. Now there is another brand I really love called Native Forest, Native Forest Coconut Milk, their canning process, they don't use BPA. BPA is a chemical that, that is in plastics and, and most canned foods, unfortunately, have BPA lined cans. Um, I'm pretty sure Thai does have a BPA lined can. Uh, if it, uh, the reason why I love it, na natural, uh, let's see, Native Forest is my favorite because of the canning process. Thai organic is my favorite because I usually have so much cream inside of it, it makes my recipes way better. Plus, it's like $3 cheaper per can when I buy it at Costco. So <laughs> those are my two things, but go go either way. So our primary ingredients is we're going to use a can of coconut creamer or coconut milk, and we're going to just pour that in there. I love coconut milk because that you can put it in different things and flavor it up for different things different flavors, right? So if you want more like a, a Thai kind of flavor, you can if you want a sweet kind of flavor. I use mine a lot for dessert type things because that's kind of my go-to. The other thing we're going to use is a, a, a dairy-free milk. Now personally, I'm a big fan of rice. There's only five ingredients and it is the best alternative milk I've ever had. So shake it really good. Um, you know, to a can, I'm, I don't, I'm not a big measure, but to a can of, of, uh, coconut milk, I'm going to use maybe four, six ounces of the, of the alternative milk, something like that. You can use as much or less as you want. So the more you use, the thinner your, your creamer, your final creamer is going to be. One of the things I sometimes add to my concoction. You can just leave it at this, heat it up and mix it and you're good to go. Like that's all you really need. Put it in the refrigerator and drink it. You'll have creamer that's really nice. Uh, personally, I kind of like to add in a little bit of cacao paste because it allows me to get a little bit of a creamier consistency and because it, it's, it's cacao butter. Oh, this is the chocolate. Ah, hold on. Okay. So cacao butter wafers. <laughs> what I had is the cacao paste wafers. You can see this is actually chocolate. This is the cacao butter. Um, this company, Z Natural Foods, if you're not a member, go become a member. You don't even have to pay to be a member. I'm saying member, but just go there because they have really great things. Like this cacao butter wafers, I might just put like four or five or six in there. I'm just going to do five today. And it gives the it gives the creamer a creamier consistency. Now, if you put too much in there, it's gonna taste like cacao butter, so be careful with that. So, again, you could just do this, blend it up. I love my little hand blender, this little tiny thing right here. So much fun. Um, and then I just blend it up. But, <laughs> since I'm a sweet person, I really love sweet. So I'm gonna, I usually add a little bit of monk fruit, so that'll be my go-to. 
And I say a little bit to this, I'm gonna use like, I don't know, one and a half tablespoon, maybe. I don't have to have it real sweet. And then often I uh, use lacuma. So lacuma is a sweetener. It's not very sweet, but it is a way to sweeten things and give it more of a, like a, a mapley flavor. And that maple flavor just like whew, brings all, it kind of melds all the flavors and brings it into a really nice um, light maple vanilla kind of flavor. Uh, this is a new product for me. I'm just starting to use this in different recipes, but man, I'm, I'm starting to love it. Like the more I use it, I'm like, oh, this is good. Um, what I'm actually going to do today, and this will be the first time I do this, but um, I've, I've become a fan of molasses. Um, black strap, strap molasses has, it's high in iron. So if you're still um, having your cycle every month, this is really great to add into your diet. You don't need a whole lot. Um, to this recipe, I'm going to add in two teaspoons maybe yeah about like that it is sweet so you want to just kind of be mindful about how much you're using you know if I added if I added all of my sweeteners the lacuma the blackstrap molasses and the monk fruit it's probably gonna be a little bit too sweet so um, that's what I'm gonna leave it with today again you can just go with the coconut milk and the the coconut milk and the the rice oat milk or your alternative milk and leave it at that. You can add in a few of the coconut butter things, you know, these little guys, or not those, <laughs> these little guys, yes. Um, you can add in a couple of splashes of this. I've done it myself. Uh, what I just kind of, I'm a variety girl, so I usually have a different recipe every single time I make it, but the base is always the same, coconut milk and the organic oat milk. Now, note, if you go and you buy like the Whole Foods 365 coconut milk, canned coconut milk, it's not going to work because the, the creamer on the top, like what happens when you can coconut milk, if it's full fat, the cream is going to rise to the top and there should be like a nice little patch of thick cream on top and the, the native foods or the native forest brand and the Thai organic, not the regular brand, it doesn't cream up, but the Thai or organic brand, uh, variety will give you the cream you want. Again, if you just buy any old low, low fat or, uh, you know, simple or any of those, you're not going to have the cream you want. So um, play around with it because maybe it's, it's useful for you. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to use this little stir stick and we're going to stir this up while that's heating and we're going to make it nice and frothy. So um, this is going to turn a little bit brown because I have the molasses in it. Uh, but I'm really excited. I, I, I've been putting molasses in my coffee and it's just like, <laughs> oh my God, so good. Uh, yeah. So I try not to do that every day though. <laughs> I have to be very careful because I'm, uh, like I said, I'm a sweet girl. I like sweet things. So, you know, monk fruit is my go-to. So monk fruit, if you don't know this product, it is um, kind of like, it kind of tastes like sugar really. It's white, it's crystalline, it's sugary. Uh, it's, um, it sweetens things up really, really well. So you don't need a whole bunch of it. Yet it's made from the monk fruit. It also has erythritol in it. And those two things do not increase your uh, blood, blood glucose levels. So you don't get an insulin, glycemic insulin response from it. Um, you know, and when we're looking to regulate our blood sugar or to not feed things, like um, I'm right now dealing with a mold issue. I'm, I'm detoxing for mold and sugar feeds mold and candida. So if you've got candida or mold issue or some kind of bacterial infection that's underlying the surface, um, and you may not even know about it, just so you know. Like I totally see labs from people and they're like, yeah, my doctor says nothing's wrong, but then I go and I read their labs and I look at the patterns in the labs and I can see that there's an underlying chronic bacterial infection that's been there for God knows how long, and we got to treat for that, right? So if that's you, you don't want to be adding a bunch of molasses and a bunch of coconut sugar and a bunch of, of high-carb sweeteners into your diet and things that increase the glycemic response. Yeah, anyway, okay. So you could totally do this with a hand mixer, but this little tiny mixer, it came with some coffee thing we bought. Uh, it, it froths it, and that, that's what makes it so wonderful. And so when you first make this, getting all that frothy, foamy goodness and pouring it into your coffee is delicious. 
Huh? After you put it in the refrigerator, it kind of the foaminess kind of goes away, but it does keep its um, consistency. I still sometimes shake it depending on how much coconut creamer I get in the top. Uh, but you know, sometimes I just take a spoon and I eat it too because it's so delicious. <laughs> All right, that's it, my friends. There is your coconut creamer. I will pour this into a little cup so you can see its yumminess. Can you see this? It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna try it for you, just to make sure. Mm. Yeah, really nice. The molasses gives it that um, a little bit of depth of flavor. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. And also try playing with the lacuma or try using no sweetener at all. Maybe you don't even need it. So, uh, much love to you. Enjoy your really yummy <laughs> dairy-free coffee creamer.